Okay, so you understand, this plug that I've now put together will go in here. And then this end The end here will go into the box like that. And then this will distribute the power from this plug to this gang of screws. And then that way, all I have to do to wire up any accessories for brake lights, running lights, left, right turn signals, the auxiliary power, because that's a 50 amp supply of power. Um, backup lights so when i hit reverse i can have a light bar on the back and light up everything really really well um or my backup lights that go into the bumper i'll have to just wire them up through here and that'll be a lot easier than me splicing into the factory harness now i'm using the original trailer plug wires which is all specially fused and on a separate system then tying into any of the brake lights or anything that's back there see i love this just push that and boom really really cool so we're gonna hook that up to the topper actually has its own little light right there and we've got that's the cable for extending the camera and I haven't tied it all down yet because I'm gonna run extra cables up in there and run more lights on the roof pretty cool huh that's what we're doing today so now I'm starting to do the wiring and I've got light is the ground power is through the black wire the fun one is the yellow wire. That's the auxiliary. That's your, literally your backup lights. Um, so when you put your vehicle in reverse, it sends a power signal through this. So I'll hook this wire up to some spotlights in the back and whatnot. Um, red, brown, and blue. Blue is the brake wire, which I'm going to run it and hook it to this, but it really won't have any features other than maybe hooking into some lights that will get brighter and brighter as the brake controller, you know, engages. Um, realistically, there's no use for me on this right now. Um, but I can hook these up to like turn signals and stop lights and add some other extra stuff to it. The cool thing about heat shrink um, is while it's really hot, you can bend it and it will hold its shape. And that will help when putting these ring terminals on these posts right here. All right, we're done with the preliminary wiring of my junction box from the seven way connector that was factory installed in the bed of the truck. And we got all of the ter terminals are now set in there, screwed in place safety they can't go anywhere and the next step will be wiring in new electronics that'll be probably for another video we've got a lot of work to get done tomorrow and then another trip this is what sucks about being so busy right now and it's a blessing I'm counting this blessing um, it is a blessing to be so busy that I can't do all the trick stuff I want to do to my truck just yet. 